channel guys today is august 26 and i thought today would be a good day for a calf feeding video because we're coming down the clock here for chopping and i want to make one here before we get busy it's in the afternoon sorry i don't make more of these it's just that feeding times either in the morning when i'm just waking up or uh in the afternoon toward the end of the day when i'm just you know kind of tired especially when it's hot out but uh yes i thought it'd be a good spot to start i'm gonna go pick up the ladies the uh, calf carrier whip i got the sv 300 hooked up so let's go pick up the ladies uh today's friday so we will have to go down to the maternity and feed bulls so i thought i'd add that and then this video will go until tomorrow morning with a little bit of milk and cows with the treaty group so well, it's not going to get done with me yapping about it, so we better get to it. Alright, you guys know the drill, but, uh, down at the maternity now, for those of you guys who know. Cat ones are right up there. So it's kind of hard to tell where everything's just stuck, where everything's at in the video. I'm going to have to do a video later on, like, a, that life of a hef, uh, cow at our farm, I'll have to stuff with my drone and stuff so I can actually like show you the farm. Uh, well so as you guys and girls can tell we have plenty of calves. Those are boys and the boys mixed into here. But it actually looks like we don't have a lot of heifer calves to bring out. Thank goodness because the past two days I had 13 calves to bring out. So that was fun. Eventful. Well, the chart says that all the ones that are tagged here are ready to go. All right, there's only uh, three here to bring out. The rest are boys. I give you. Yes, I know. Watch out. Days old. Alright, we have our bottles cut out for us though for later. Two, four, five, uh, six, eight, ten, eleven bottles. Eleven bottles down here. Whoop whoop. Alright, keep your head and hooves inside here to calf carrier at all times. Alright? No horse playing. Or calf playing, I should say. So, yesterday we moved calves. We were full. Uh, so full that we had to double up for two hutches. Easy, ladies, I'll be making your beds here. So there's two in there and two in there. Yeah, all this was in a matter of like two weeks. So fun stuff all right so I'll have to get five hutches ready Ladies, remember this rig? You guys always made a ruckus when you saw it, or heard it, or smelled it, for that matter.
14 pens, around 600 pounds of feed in this cart. Let's do this. I mean, us, me, let me do this, you guys watch. If you think these buckets are odd long, because they're six gallon buckets. Here is what the calves look like when they are brought, brought into the weaning barn. And then when they leave. There's the size difference. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. The mic is facing this way. So it's quieter like that. These are all the older ladies. This is the only milk that's pasteurized on the farm, and we use milk that uh, are, from, are from cows that we treated with antibiotics because you can't have antibiotics in milk that you sell, so there's a, you still got a use out of it. We do still have to take some milk though that we would sell to feed the calves because we don't have enough of uh, milk from cows that have antibiotics. But yeah, like I said, only milk that we pasteurize on the farm, so let's uh, load it up a while. There's, it's still pasteurizing more. My cousin's actually bringing milk from the parlor up front to back here, so, to in here. First load, let's ride. My cousin too. Oh, now we're up at the hutches with all the ladies. Finish the boys. No more hanging out with the boys. If not already. My cousin Mitch isn't just feeding bottles at the farm. Yeah, recently uh, had a first kid all by himself, just him. <laughs> it's a girl, so making him feel awkward in front of the girls car. at home and girls at the farm. <laughs> He's always surrounded by women. Here lately, though, we've been pumping out the calves. Well, like I said earlier, the past two days brought out 15 calves. No, 15, 13. But uh, that's not including today. But I'm not sure how much I'm going to talk in this video. I think me and my cousin are just ready to be done for the week. Mitch is feeding these calves a little bit ahead of time here before we get to them. For some of them to figure it out by themselves. It's usually what we try to do. Even though it's an afternoon, so this is our second feeding. So some of them already figured it out from this morning. Like that bright bulb right there. Figured it out by herself. I appreciate calves that are like that. Are you gonna be like that? Or are you gonna be like 99% of the other ones? Teaching calves to drink out of a bucket is a true te test in patience. Pretty sure that's probably the most frustrating thing out of feeding calves. Remember Mitch, lift with your neck. This is our transitioning barn. Uh, here we are uh, dumping grain that we would be giving to the weaning barn calves, but this just helps to wean them off of just a grain and water diet to a grain and uh, TMR diet. Uh, it helps to fatten them up. Not like too fat, but 
a healthy uh, fat where we want our heifer calves to be, or heifers by now, pretty much. I'm just not rambling now. All right, time to get our second load. All the ladies are looking at me like they've never seen me before, but they see me every day. Every day they see me. Every day. Pasteurizer's done, we're gonna do a cold water flush. It's not done. It's not done, we're gonna do a cold water flush when it is done though. Clogged. Yeah. So, see, you might be like, well Ashton, why did it not finish? Why didn't it finish? I don't know guys, why didn't it finish? Yummy! That's probably actually one of the cheesiest filters that's I've seen. That's really bad. That's really bad. So, all that stuff on there, that's what you call mastitis. That's the uh, effects of mastitis. Yeah. Alright, let's load them up. Gotta dump the water we fed them this morning after the milk. gotta wash out and we're gonna go home and sleep and eat and and uh and eat not this guy though he has to take care of a kid oh my goodness and i gotta take a big sometimes forget. Flip it to wash. And that's a wrap. Jack. It's Saturday afternoon now. Um, the reason I didn't show milking during the weekdays, I guess yesterday, Friday, is because we don't milk back here in the afternoon. There's someone else that does, but on the weekends, we milk back here in the afternoon. In the mornings though, all week though. We milk back here in the sick parlor. It's a herringbone, one-sided, eight cows. So we're gonna set it up. Jared and Thatcher are feeding. So, gotta make sure the pasteurizer's warmed up. Rock, ready to rock and roll. Turn off the wash and get ready to start it. Then all I'd have to do is just hit that switch over and start milking.
good news is they pretty much filled it in by themselves. Normally, there's one that holds up the rest of the group. Come on, girl, just a little more. A couple more inches. Then the closing gate will push her in. Cool. Wow, that was convenient. Ladies, you must be in a good mood. You're working with me this morning. I don't have to fight you guys for every little thing that I want you guys to do. All right. Well, first I'm going to check for mastitis. I guess I'll hold the camera for this. And then I'll do a pre-dip. So this cow, cow has a red band. What's her number? 1767. She actually might not show any signs of mastitis. She didn't show any signs this morning. And if that's so, I can stop her as long as she's been in here for five days. Okay, well I might not have seen it this morning, but right there, I might have to zoom in on it. That white piece, that's mastitis, so no good, at least for this afternoon. This one has no band, so she's probably just a do not treat, but I could be wrong. Or she once had a band and she had mastitis. She has to, they have to be in here for two milkings after showing up being clean and then they'll be back into the milking groups all right now time for the dip uh post i mean pre-dip we don't have any foam iodine so we just resort to this so well we do up front the big parlor but not back here The cricket's making some good background noise for you guys. There's not much going on. All right, now uh, one cloth per cow. Cleaning the teats is very important before milking. So there's no foreign contaminants and it also helps so there's no infections in the teats, so. All right, time to fire up the milking parlor. By the way, the milker is just a very light suction. Uh, does not hurt the cow. It's not like my finger is going to get sucked down into it. I mean, that's very light suction. But it works. Alright, so I went down through even the ones that I could stop. I can't because we want them in here for at least five days being treated. Um, today's the 27th and none of these on there actually could go except these two, but they both showed signs of mastitis, so can't stop them. So, sorry Mitch, they're for you to stop tomorrow. But anyway, yeah, let's go down through. They're uh, done here. You can tell, I mean, her udder is kind of like more baggy. It's not. It's not full. So she's all but done here. Very little for now. She's done. All right. Now next step. She's front left. Quality camera shot right here. All right. So find the hole. All right, now just kind of like reverse milking, that's what I call it. Up into the udder, and then just kind of massage it up in there. There you go. And I'll do our poop step. All I don't know how much time my GoPro battery died and it's about to die again. Pretty much last row, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll treat them and then put them back up in the wash position, turn it to wash and that'll be it. And that brings us to feeding, which I, that was earlier in the video. So it's all switch swapped around, but yeah, it's still the same thing.